I've not really read your magazine, so what do you guys focus on? What do you guys do? Fort Lauderdale. We focus on everything going on in the city of Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Restaurants, going out, hard news, and of course the yachting industry because it's so major for Fort Lauderdale. Absolutely. And your readers, is it a free magazine? Is it a paid subscription or what is it? It is a paid subscription, but you can also find us in a lot of the city. We're in a lot of the hotels. Yep. And we're all over, uh, you know, public, lots of different about what you said you got a new website coming out got a new web- about that. flmag.com we've got an entire re- redesign coming out it's going to be a lot more daily content and stuff that's really you know the magazine comes out once a month so this is going to be a website that really lets people know what's going on every day in Fort Lauderdale. very cool I think so and so is it an app based as well or just a website just a website right now although at some point we're going to be rolling out an app too so very definitely cool. check out that so tell me what's going on I love I live here my brother lives in Miami so he hates it oh dear what's going on I know exactly you're the so, smart one. See, I like him. And, and the good-looking one, if I may say. Well, yeah. you come again. Oh, hey. but, uh, so tell me what's going on in Fort Lauderdale right now that's super exciting. What's the boat show, which we all love? Well, the boat show is our Super Bowl. So every time, every year when the boat show comes around, I mean, that is what happens in the city. But there's so much else going on. I mean, right now on the Strip, where we are right now on A1A, yeah. it seems like every week there's a new hotel opening up, a new bar, a new restaurant. Uh, the, the, you know, the nightlife, the dining is phenomenal. We've got so much happening. I mean, just a few years ago, this was a, a collection of kind of low-slung little hotels. And now, I mean, any night of the week, you can find a good club night, a restaurant doing a cool special, all sorts of things happening. Well, it's amazing. We were just talking about, there's the ocean, unlimited view. Yeah. There's the skyline, unlimited view. I mean, yeah. I've been very few places that have that kind of closeness and cool city vibe. And, except well, New York, really. But, uh, well, yeah, and I mean, you know, New York... The, water, you're on a, a river that's supposed to be filled with corpses, so you don't want to be there, but um, I mean, Fort Lauderdale, yeah, we've got, I mean, there's a great, there's an arts district, uh, just as I talk to you now, this Saturday is going to be the weekly art walk, and that happens once a month, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's phenomenal art galleries, there's the downtown, that's, I mean, I grew up here when nothing happened in the, the downtown closed at 6 p.m., and the, the city was still known for spring break, and there wasn't, it wasn't as diverse back yeah. then. Now, you've got dining downtown, you've got exciting things happening downtown, you've got local art, you've got all sorts, you've got a brewery scene, it's yeah. exploding right now. Yeah, 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 you've got yeah. all sorts of things happening, the kind of things that pretty much any kind of really good city would have. Yeah. And then in addition to that, you've got an ocean in front of you, and it's and one of the best in America, absolutely. Best in America, I'll drink to that. Amen. Amen. Talk to me about spring break, because my wife tells me she works at the government CBB. This place was just spring break central, and then they shut it down about 20 years ago, right? I mean, in the middle of the 90s, the uh, the politicians decided that uh, there was a bit of kind of a Christian right thing happening in, in the uh, city council. So they decided that they were going to get right with Jesus and get rid of spring break. Um, and then for a few years, it was absolutely dead. Yeah. Uh, but then the city started coming back. It's more of kind of a high-end, family-oriented tourist destination. Yeah, so how do you get rid of spring break? Well, my wife said that they limit people booking hotel rooms during spring break if you're under 25. And... That's one thing you do. The other thing you do is that there's when you're a spring break capital, there's a lot of laws that you sort of enforce. You know, hey, you're not supposed to drink on the beach. And then when you want to get rid of spring break, yeah, then you just actually come out and start arresting people who are drinking on the beach. Is that still in place now for the yeah. whole year or uh, just during spring break? Very much so. I mean, now it is a place that enforces its ordinances very strictly. But back in the spring break days, you can just kind of get away with whatever you want. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not well. Corpses Hopefully not. Exactly. Well, that's, in you're river. thinking of New York, my friend. But uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah, so they kind of cleaned that up. But they made it into something where families, where a much more diverse kind of tourist clientele can come here. So now we're going to get more into personal. Do you own a gun? I do not own a gun. Uh, Why not? Uh, well, I, as, my, a, as an American, yeah. it's your right. Well, my dad owns like half a dozen, so I can just borrow one if I need one. Uh, you know, sure. Yeah, it's more convenient. See, I'm going to go for my citizen test in a couple of months. All right. Yeah, go. Well, see, now oh, my, yeah. 
you know, my wife is English, so she gets nervous around the guns. You know, ah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I do as well. Okay, yeah. I'm sure you got news from your eyes. Now, drunk people, she's great around. She can, you put her in the middle of a bunch of people drunkenly fist fighting over a sporting event, she is in her element. Where's she from? Uh, <laughs> in her hometown, they only ever say near Cambridge, but she's from Essex. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell Americans, like, they've not heard of Essex. I say, you know New Jersey? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Essex is kind of like the effluent of uh, English, which we may cut out because that might be a bit offensive. But uh, yeah. it's kind of fair. I, I, I think you got it. I, I think, think you, you got it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you live in Fort Lauderdale. You've been here for many, many years. You, a true Floridian? Is that rare? I was born and raised in Fort Lauderdale. Well done. I lived away for many years, but this is my home. Yeah. Are we going to see you around the boat show? Oh, I'm going to be all over the boat show. I never miss a good boat because show. Because this season is in 4K. This is the first episode of 4K. 4K. Of I love a bit of 4K. I, I'm, I'm wasted in 3K, quite frankly. You kind of are. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, I need 4K. I'm a 4K man. That's what she said. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, anyway, Eric, thank you very much for your time. We are between two Thank we'll you very much. We will see you at the show. It's a genuine pleasure. You absolutely will. Absolutely. Thank you.